Welcome to Accessories International, where we show you the latest tips and tricks on how to configure your DMP Android screen to its optimal usage so that you can get the most out of your new screen. So today we're going to be showing you how to use Apple CarPlay. We head over first off to our settings. Once we're here on the right hand side, you'll see a series of selections you can choose from. We head down to the bottom and go into Android. <clears throat> Once we're in Android, we go into our hotspot selections. So in my case, it's network and internet, Wi-Fi mobile, data usage, and hotspot. Head right there. We want to go to hotspot. And we want to make sure we click on Wi-Fi hotspot here. And we want to make sure that this setting is on. Wi-Fi hotspot has to be on. In my case, it is. So we are good to go. We'll head back out here. Next up, we go into our telephone setting, and this is where we want to pair our phone to our radio via Bluetooth. So I'll go into my Bluetooth options, it picks it up. In my case, my Bluetooth is called GOCSDK, and it does have the pin there. If it's your first time pairing your phone, it is going to ask you to put in the pin, but you see in my case, it is already automatically connected and paired, so we are good to go there. Now, once we have both of those steps done, we head into our apps. In the apps, we have something called Z-Link, which is what's gonna allow us to use the CarPlay. <clears throat> it detects the phone, and it's paired. Now, keep in mind, if it's your first time using the Apple CarPlay, it is going to take some time for it to pair up together, but after you initially do that, the load time is very quick. Now, once we've made it into the Apple CarPlay, there are some tips and tricks that I will be showing you here just so that you're using this to its fullest potential. So number one, biggest thing that I find, I don't touch the screen once I'm in Apple CarPlay. It's very rare that I'll touch the screen. Everything that I do is controlled through the command knob and this back button. So you see here on the bottom left side of the screen, this is going to change the view that you have within CarPlay. If you want to show your apps, if you want to show a combination of your music and your maps um, and, and so forth. So I don't press that, I use the back button instead which serves as the same function. So if I want to go into my apps here to just see something and then with a command knob, I'll go through and I'll select what I want to get into. Let's say I want to go back to the music and the maps. Then I'll use a command knob if I want to select the maps and make the maps bigger, I'll simply click on it and it makes the maps nice and big. I'm gonna go back again. Maybe I wanna make the album art cover of my music larger. I'll just select it with a command knob and boom, it's nice and big. Now this is really convenient when it comes to using the command knob because you don't have to spend as much time taking your eyes off the road. When you're driving and you wanna just quickly select something, you wanna open up your maps, you know, you use a command knob and you don't have to spend time aiming your fingers looking at the screen nearly as much. It's a lot more quick and a lot more convenient. So command knob is a big part of this. And also keep in mind when it comes to this CarPlay, this is a great way for people to use the navigation and the music without having to go through all the complicated steps of pairing their screen with a SIM card or a Wi-Fi hotspot or a Wi-Fi network. Um, if you wanna use these map functions natively within your actual Android screen, see if we go back here, and you wanna go into this navigation, this is gonna require you to have an internet connection. See, I, I, if I wanna start navigating, it says looks like you're offline, which makes it more complicated because then you have to pair your hotspot each time you wanna log in. But for us, every time we turn on the car, we simply open up the Z-Link app and it pulls it up real quick. It's much more efficient and effective. Now guys, if you have any questions for us at Accessories International, please always feel free to give us a call, 786-242-5400. We are a US-based dealer for all of the DMP Android screens, so we are able to help you. We are able to sell them to you. We provide a full support team based here in the United States in Miami to answer your questions. So please, again, feel free to reach out to us, and we hope this video helped. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.